It's your boy, Big Reg. Bringing you a hot take. A hot take. Oh, my goodness gracious. After that game versus Army, where the Michigan Wolverines pulled out a squeaker. 24 to 21. Holy smokes. First of all, let me raise my glass to that victory. Double overtime. Double overtime victory over the Black Knights. Oh, my goodness gracious. Listen, a lot of people are crying about this victory. But before I, I address those issues, okay, let me just say this. Uh, props to Joanna from Guam for uh, correctly calling the first touchdown of the season, Tariq Black. She hardly knew anything about Michigan football, but somehow, somehow she was able to call that correct. So I raised my glass to Joanna. Moving on. After the euphoria, the euphoria of the, of the season opening victory over Middle Tennessee State that just brought children to, 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 to giggles and, and, and joy. This game versus Army, that was a struggle. It was a struggle the whole way through. Okay? Oh, my goodness gracious. What did they have? Five possessions in the first half? Three turnovers. Oh, my gosh. Boss Curdy, okay? Boss Curdy, hold on to it tight like a baby. Like a baby. Don't let it go. What is going on? But one thing we know about this Army team, that we're not going to roll over for anyone, okay? This is a tough team. This is a smart team. They're well coached, and they execute, okay? So we knew it was going to be a hard, hard-fought game. All right, so for any of you people saying that this was an embarrassing win, I refute those charges vehemently. That's that's the correct pronunciation, right? Vehemently. Ve vehemently. Vehemently. Okay. Those young men didn't give an inch. Okay, we had to take every inch from them. So this victory was hard fought and hard earned. So I am not ashamed of it at all. For all you cats. Crying about Shea Patterson. Uh, listen, okay? He's injured. It's that oblique right here. The oblique. I had a similar injury in 2018 when I went down to Orlando, the Golf Classic. And I had to fight through those injuries just like Shea Patterson did, okay? Okay? Off the first day, I, I was, oh, I had hurt my oblique. And the whole weekend of golf, I had to play through it, Okay? Regardless of the injury, I was able to still play good enough so that I won the free barbe Korean barbecue dinner, okay, for me and my team. Because that's what it means to grit out a victory when it counts the most. And oh, let me tell you, friends, even though it wasn't pretty, even though some of those drives didn't rise up majestically like they usually do, even though my, my approach chops from 100 yards out weren't pinpoint accurate like they usually are, I was able to grit it out, grit it out. And then when I sat down to eat at B1 down in Orlando, that was the most delicious Korean barbecue I ever ate in my entire life. Oh, so I raised my glass to that. To yourself? Hey, sometimes you got to toast yourself when you deserve it. Anyway, back to Shea Patterson. The kid's in pain, but the kid is gunning through this, Okay. And what did he do? Yet again, he leads us to victory. So to that, I raised my glass to Shea Patterson. That eh, wasn't perfect. But still, he got the job done. I think it was the defense who saved his ass. Let's not sell him short, okay? When it was third and six in the first overtime, it was the first or second overtime. I can't remember. No, it was the second overtime. Third and six, what did he do? He came up with another great throw. The Nico, no, not Nico. Uh, to Bell. Was it Bell? I think it was to Bell. To Ronnie Bell. Okay, and kept the drive going. No, wait, was it the first overtime? Which overtime was it? I don't know. Anyway, he got the job done. So for all you haters who are poo pooing on him, you can go take a long walk off a short pier. Okay? Do you still think he's dark, dark uh, horse Heisman? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, look at last 
last year. Okay, for all you people saying that this this game is is, is you know is going to be the downfall of Michigan football, look at Oklahoma last year. Okay, Army played them tough last year in Norman. Army took them to overtime, and oh, and what happened to them? Oh yeah, they went to the college football playoffs, and the quarterback won a Heisman Trophy. Okay, okay. So there's still a lot to play for, and there's still a lot of good work to be done. Okay, this bye week is coming at, at the right time for this Michigan team to heal up, to work on some things so that they can sharpen their edge. Sharpen that edge so that when they go down to Madison, Wisconsin, they're going to slice them up. They're going to slice up them cheeses, okay? It's going to be like some, some provolone thinly sliced at the deli. Say, hey, man, give me a pound and a half of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, all you doubters start coming back on this. Oh, and then, man, there's... There's the usual suspects, of course, of course. But then now, now uh, there's more haters and doubters and, 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 and um, I don't know, scalawags. Nameless guests has jumped off the bandwagon now for, for Shea Patterson. Uh, you, you, producer JP, have turned against Shea Patterson. Every other comment while you oh throw in the towel <laughs> throw in the towel are you saying throw the damn towel are you saying throw the damn towel throw in the towel no 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 we're gonna pound this rock and we're gonna keep on pounding the rock you gotta know when to call it no no Shay Patterson is gonna get the job done no matter what y'all say I believe in Shay I said it last year okay. I don't care if he's a transfer. I don't care how he started off the season, okay? He's my quarterback, damn it. He's my quarterback, and I'm going to ride, ride with him. Ride and die. To the end. You're like Rocky. Huh? You're like Rocky. And look Rocky. what happened to Rocky, okay? He went into a foreign land, okay? And he won over the Russian crowd. He said, you people and me, we all the same, okay? And they all cheered him at the end. So I raise my glass to America. All right. Anything else? <laughs> this is struggle bus. Struggle bus. What do you mean struggle bus? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay? You're making it sound like this is Brexit. Okay? This is not Brexit. Okay? Jimmy Harbaugh knows what he's doing. Josh Gaddis knows what he's doing. They got a limited playbook because you know why? The guy, look, let, let's review the facts, okay? Shea Patterson, this is his third offensive coordinator in three years, okay? Number one. Number two, number two, two of his top linemen were not, were not even playing for the first uh, couple games. Number three, his top receiver, my uh, breakout performer of the year, DPJ, still has not suited up yet, okay? So he's missing his top weapon, okay? And then you throw on top of that the oblique, which I've already shared with you how debilitating that could be to a big performance. And despite all these things, this young man has risen to the occasion, okay, and led us to uh, a 2 0 start. Despite his second fumble on the first drive oh, wow. of the game. I'm not going to lie. It's tough to hold on to the ball when your oblique is hurting. Is difference when you're holding it like that versus how he holds it. Damn, you hating, bro. I don't know why you're hating so hard. Why are you hating so hard? Huh? I'm done. Huh? Throw in the towel. No, I will not throw in the towel. Instead, I'll raise my glass to Shea Patterson and the gritty performance. That I said it. It was gritty. Sure, it wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth. A lot of those balls weren't smooth. Okay? They were not smooth balls. Okay? <laughs> These balls are gritty, okay? And this is a gritty victory, all right? He pulled out those gritty balls and threw them right on the table, okay? And so that, for that, I raised my glass. I also got to give a, a shout-out to JC from Sunnyside has been a lot, wrong on a lot of things over the years, okay? Like I said, he's, he's, he, he comes from the Patrick Ewing School of uh, Sports uh, Prediction. But... But in this case, I got to give him credit because he did mention that his breakout performer this year was going to be Josh Uche. And Josh Uche and the rest of the defense did a heck of a job today. Josh Uche had, had a lot of big plays. So to that, I raise my glass. Looking forward. What am I looking forward to next week? It's a bye week. 
Thank God. Rest up, recuperate, and sharpen up. Reps, reps, reps. Hopefully we can turn this bird around a little bit quicker. And then after that, it's Wisconsin. The real schedule starts. The big boys come a-calling, knocking at the door. Are we going to be ready? I'm going to go out on the, on the limb and, on the, and put my foot on the line and say, yes. Yes, we will be ready. You folks are going to be shocked, shocked to see what a fine performance we put uh, put forward in Madison, Wisconsin, when we face the Badgers. So in anticipation, in appreciation of today's game, in anticipation of two weeks from now, the fine performance they're going to put on, I raise my glass and I say, go blue. Go blue.